Hello everyone, my name is Esteban Toro. I'm a travel photographer and a Sony ambassador. Today with B&H, we're gonna take you on a journey to the beautiful snowy mountains of Alaska. From this trip, I really expect to have a beautiful sunrise picture where I will have all the mountains of Alaska and there will be like beautiful sunrise light, but let's see if the weather cooperates so I will actually be able to have it. And also I'm thinking about documenting a little bit the stories of how these dogs live in this beautiful camp in the mountains of Talkeetna. I will take the dog sledding myself and I will be taking pictures with my camera while I'm in dog sledding to give this point of view perspective. Uh, so you will also feel integrated as a viewer into the final picture. For this trip, I decided to bring my A7R4. Then I also decided to bring the 16-35mm 2.8G Master, the 24-70mm 2.8G Master, the 70-200 2.8G Master, and the 200-600 6.3G Master from Sony. Something that is very important is to research before the places you will go and try to understand how it will look like so you will get an idea of the exact lenses and the equipment that you might need. I like to use two body of cameras because it allows me to have two different lenses. So if I'm in a situation where I need to change really fast, like I will be doing in the helicopter, I just have like one wide angle in one one and the other one I will have a telephoto lens and that will help me to switch between them. For dog sledding, I'm planning to use the wide angle lens, the 1635, because it will give me more of that perspective of a point of view. So you as a viewer, you will have this understanding of how it feels like to do, be doing the dog sledding uh, while I use this lens. It has happened to me many times that I have been in one trip and I said like, I wish I could have brought this lens and it happened because I didn't research before. But also if you bring too much equipment, it will be too heavy for you to carry and it will be a hostel in general to go with all this stuff and travel and be able to walk and get to further and other places. So another good tip that I can give you is that you will pack several batteries because when you're in cold places like this one, I'm right now at minus 20 Fahrenheit, that is approximately like minus 28 celsius uh, batteries take to drain up really really fast so it's really important that you have several batteries of course that will depend on how much you will be shooting if you will be shooting video if you will be shooting pictures uh, and all that will determine like how many batteries you will need but in general it's important that you pack enough so you will not be in the middle of a beautiful capture without battery i hope these tips will help you to have a better experience when you go to difficult conditions to take pictures I really hope that you learn from these tips that it's very important to plan ahead but also being flexible. I really hope that you learn that it's really important to be prepared with your gear and understand exactly what you will bring to different situations. I remember that one of my favorite parts was when I was flying in the helicopter and I could see the mountain range and the sun was hitting. It was super beautiful and we were getting super close to the mountain. It was a very fulfilling experience and I remember that I was trying to enjoy it not only with my eyes but also with my camera and one last tip that I would like to give you is that if you have to choose between taking the picture and enjoy it for yourself uh, choose to enjoy it for yourself I think it's very important that you have beautiful experience in your heart more than you with your camera many times it has happened to me that I wasn't able to capture a beautiful moment because actually what I was living was so beautiful that I was not able to press the, the shutter. So I always say that it's the picture, it's always the second best image that I was able to get.